Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday the 29th of June 2020. Uh, I am making brain, I will be your host. We're going to go around the room and talk about high priority initiatives, uh, other initiatives, and then questions, etc, etc. So first of all, uh, the upcoming and ship releases. Um, I can talk about JSIPFS briefly. We shipped 0.47 last week. Uh, that brought in the latest libp2p, which is 0.28, uh, which introduced the noise protocol uh, as a fallback for SecIO. Uh, we also got a persistent peer store. Um, so if you shut your node down and start it up again, it doesn't try to like try to reconnect to the peers it was connected to previously. Uh, we got a new web UI and we got some bug fixes um, around IPNS PubSub and another thing. So you should totally upgrade to that. It will be awesome. You will dig it the most. Uh, any other upcoming ship releases? Was there not a new Go as well? Uh, IPFS, yeah, 0.6, that came out like two weeks ago, though. It should have been in last week's. But yeah, uh, that includes a myriad of things, switching to quick by default, um, pinning, or the peer, peering. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, yeah, we've got peering support in there. Um, the update to Gossip Sub 1.1. Um, so it is it's good stuff. Get it. And it also has base 36 support. I will just link that into the release if you want to read up on the release notes. Awesome source. Um, on to the other initiative, so pinning services. Yes, so as part of a upcoming effort, um, we're gonna be working, looking at um, finishing up a spec for pinning service APIs. And what this will do is let us take third party, um, third party pinning services like Infura Pinata um, and configure that with IPFS so that in web UI and hopefully in IPFS CLI as well, you'll be able to, to pin off to third party services. So, and we are shooting targeting 0.7 for that, but we still need to work through um, exactly what the, the scope of work is going to be. Um, and then what the phases of, of that scope will be, because um, we'll try to phase out intermittent support for that. Cool. Uh, next up is the subdomain gateway. Uh, a brief update is that I finished uh, redoing it uh, just uh, need to finish tests. Uh, there's like a lot of sharpness to go through. But so I'll probably ask for a review later this week, but it will be a small PR and hopefully uh, that will ship with uh, 0.7 as well. Cool. Uh, bits of updates. Uh, Jacob, remove this. I mean, yeah, I think we might want to remove it, at least for now, um, for the foreseeable future. Because I know Dirk is, is on many other things. So rather than track this and have no progress for the next couple of months, uh, we'll just kick that out. That sounds sensible. Uh, we've got no, no Reba Sushi today, so probably no stream content-based chunking research improvements. And that might be a similar thing that we, like, I think that's getting will be tabled it probably for the next couple of months, but we can nothing, nothing on rust for today either, I guess. Just the P2P rendezvous. Uh, yeah, so just the P2P rendezvous is still on hold pending the next item of the list, uh, which I can also talk now, which is the sign peer records in gossip sub 1.1. So the, regarding the, uh, the sign peer records, uh, it's uh, mostly everything ready for review now. Uh, since the record interface, then the envelope and the peer record implementation that Jacob already did the uh, first pass. And uh, I also finished uh, uh, on Friday and today the identify integration and the certified address book. So yeah, this week uh, I will wait for reviews and iterate uh, in order to try to make it land everything this week or beginning of the next one. Uh, and in the gossip sub 1.1, uh, 
uh, we are also making a lot of progress. Uh, most of the big uh, chunks of work are merged in a temporary branch for now. The peer score, uh, flood, flood publishing, extended validators, adaptive gossip, pruning back off, and also the opportunistic crafting. And the three main things that we have left is basically the direct peer connections, the spam protection, and the peer exchange, which is the dependency on the signed peer records. So yeah, we, I will also continue this week uh, helping uh, Cayman, who is currently working on this in the chain safe side. And yeah, that's it. Awesome. Uh, onto the other initiatives, uh, Unix FSP 1.5 and GuyPFS. Um, no update here, as far as I know. Uh, migration to multi hash keys in the block store. Uh, so there's a PR open which uh, lands this in JSIPFS. Uh, it's ready to go. I guess the, the only weird thing about it is that now the ref local just it returns you CIDs that are made up of V1 with IPLD raw codec. Um, I added a I added a, there was um, Adam actually added a multi hash, uh, like multi hashes uh, flag to that command so that it actually prints out the keys that things are stored under in the data store. Um, I guess we just need to, like, we need someone from GuyProfest who's okay with the uh, attempt to move the keys to be multi hashes to just look at that and make sure that that's what they're going to implement as well. So we've got some kind of alignment on that. Is that is that Hector who was going to be doing that, or as far as I know, but I haven't seen I've not heard from Hector for ages. So. Yeah. Yeah, I guess check with him and then see how that goes. You can well, we can talk and see how it's going. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, pinning system revamp. Uh, yes, next. So that's what I'm going to pick up this week. Now that the um, Migration stuff is in place and, and all that. Um, shared IPFS node? Uh, yeah. Um, so the pull request is ready for review and it, I've been waiting to get some feedback. So that's kind of status of it. Uh, I also was going to add another item that I didn't have the chance yet, but um, so I'll jump to it. Uh, in other words, that be, it'll be doing is trying to optimize. Uh, IPFS add such that in the browser and web UI, it will not do the normalization phase that it does right now that causes the buffering to occur. Uh, and then there's a cap in the browsers of how, many, how much data you can upload. It also just slow down, slows down things. Um, I'll put details in more into notes, uh, but I do wanna uh, do the design review proposal for that. Uh, I'll create items. So if you want to be on that call, please add yourself. That's it. Well, that brings us to the end of the other initiatives. Um, so yeah, so design review proposals. Anything apart from Iraqi's um, IP first add optimization. Cool. Blockers and asks. Anyone block? Anyone need anyone to do anything? Questions. Anybody got any questions? We are speeding through this list. This is amazing. We're going to get so much time back. It's going to be the best Monday ever. Yes, I, I have a, I have, I guess, ah. a context question. Yeah, sorry. Just wondering as I was reading through. Uh, thanks, Vashko, for answering some questions about IPNS stuff uh, on on Discuss. I was looking into some of that as well and was wondering if anyone had any thoughts about or context around why we still why we still care about peers that do not embed public keys into the IPNS records. It feels like that has got to have been like an ancient change. And we can probably stop caring about that. 
if people, if, if nobody here has context, I will go exploring further. I just thought I would do a survey before I did that. Okay, will do. I will, I will report back with any, any updates. Good luck with this balloon. Any other questions? Anything for the parking lot? For the car park? They're amazing. Thank you so much for your time. This has been the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday the 29th of June 2020. Stay safe out there. See you on the internet. Thanks, Mike.